classroom, Richard Curtis. Rock, paper, scissors. Nope. Let's go. Johnny, what's up, man? Ook in the house. Three teachers saying they're the smartest, here to compete. That's what we love. What's up, everybody? And welcome to the show. Today, we have the students right over here ready to rock. And we have our teachers looking good today, guys. And they're from Immaculate Heart of Mary School in the Upper Roxboro section of Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom to show their test students and their favorite teachers. The audience is ready because they brought the pep rally today. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I love the girl in the front. She's like, I got to get out of here. Hey, it's a winner take all today on the cash and bragging rights. I got $500 online to the winning team here, so we'll see how we do. Before we even meet our contestants, we're starting off the show today the best way possible with a pop quiz. fun is this? Walking by, someone goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know who it is, but someone's nervous up here, and it's okay because the buzzer is going to help you get through this. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can, guys. Each correct answer, 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Wait until I call your name to answer. When you do, if you get it right, 10 points. If you get it wrong, your team is locked out, but the other side still has a chance to buzz in and steal the points. There's going to be one extra credit question today. Good luck on that. This pop quiz starts right now. What type of animal was the now extinct dodo? Miss Mitchell. A bird. A bird is right. There you go. And how about this? Extra credit right in the top of the show here. What is the term for a dome-shaped house typically made of blocks of snow and ice that was built by nomadic Inuits? Mrs. Mitchell again. Igloo. Igloo is right. In the NBA, Washington, D.C. is represented by what team? Here you go, John. The Wizards. The Wiz. Right, there you go. What part of the word millionaire is the suffix? Luke. Air. Air is right. Look at that smile on Luke. He's loving it. What 2019 Fox show featured celebrities hiding their faces in costume as they sang in front of judges like Robin Thicke and Jenny McCartney? Mrs. Mitchell. The Mask. Here we go, Anna. The Mask Singer. There it is. We needed yeah. the full thing. You were thinking of the movie The Mask. Maybe. What is nine times six? This is Mitchell again. 54. 54. I feel like you're not sure. You keep saying the right answer. <laughs> what is the name of Winnie the Pooh's small pink friend who is often very nervous? Mrs. Mitchell. Piglet. Yeah, there it is. Still with the question. What is the, excuse me, according to the New Testament of the Bible, in what town was Jesus born? Here you go, Luke. Bethlehem. Bethlehem is right. CCD paid off for you. <laughs> according to a classic children's joke, why is six afraid of seven? Mrs. Mitchell. Because 79. There it is, girl. <laughs> How many sides of equal length does a square have? Mrs. Mitchell again. Four. That, still questioning yourself. I love that. I'm not sure whether to keep answering these. Lightning, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. Our lyrics in a 27 hit, hit song featuring Rihanna by what DJ? Buzzer stays silent here. How about this one? Calvin Harris. That shuts it down. Cut it off and unplug it. Pop quiz is all over. Scores, teachers, 70 points on the board. Students with 40. Nicely done, guys. Hey, off to a great start. Hot side on both sides. You guys are doing well. You're still smiling at each other, and I don't think I love that. It's time to send somebody to detention. And it should. Both sides are on fire here. Put your buzzers down, guys. You're not going to need them for this round. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. You'll have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or if you want to kick it to the other side and say, you guys answer it. Choose to play, answer the question correctly. This is the fun part. You get to send the other side to detention. And man, does that look fun over there. You're out of the game. But if you get it wrong, be careful, guys, because you could absolutely end up there yourself. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. Get everyone to detention. Attention. I'm going to give you 40 points because I'm a nice guy, and here we go. Let's play. Category students for you guys is landforms. Pass. We're going to pass it. What is the term for a small, fertile area in a desert where water and vegetation are found? Oasis. Oasis is correct. There you go. You guys, I saw you drop your head there. They, they're, you're bummed. You knew that one? Yeah. Yep, so there you go. You shouldn't have passed it, but you did. Teacher struck first. You guys get to send someone to detention. Who's that going to be? We're going to send Luke to detention. Yeah, Luke out of the game, pal. He takes the long 
lonely walk to detention. You're there for a long time, pal, so sit down and relax. Here we go, teachers. Social studies. All right, we'll, we'll take the question. All right, what was the Spanish name for the large, self-sufficient farming estates that originated when Mexico was a colony of Spain? Oh, my God. I should tell you that. Deep in thought here on the teacher side, you guys, the answer? I used to teach Spanish. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. The answer, Hacienda, oh was the right one. Who said they used to teach Spanish? Oh, there she is. Okay, Mrs. Mitchell. How about it? What are you going to do? Hey, John, Anna, give yourselves a high five because guess what? You get to send your teacher to detention. Which one's going to go? Mrs. Mitchell. Mrs. Mitchell. No talk needed. And the crowd erupts. They love Mitchell going to detention. Luke, make some room because you got a visitor. All right, guys. Back to you, and how about this one? You guys can take control of this round right here. Category is animals. Play. What is the name of the hybrid offspring of a male lion and a female tiger? You can talk about it. Doesn't seem to be a lot of talking, guys. The answer? Cub. The answer was a liger. How about that one? We just had to combine those two words. John, Anna couldn't quite get it done. Miss Ebner, Mr. Lowry, who's going to go to detention? Uh, John. John. John, we're going right down the board here. <laughs> All right, John. We have three in detention, and this game continues. Here we go. Your category, video games. So we'll take it. In what multiplayer online game by Blue Wizard Digital do players become heavily armed eggs? It's a fantastic oh. game. Eggs. Need an answer, guys? Eggos. The Eggos. <laughs> the Eggos? Not only is it delicious breakfast, but you can also play it. The Shell Shockers was the right one, and Anna, you are holding on, girl. Who's going to detention? Mr. Lowry. Mr. Lowry, you gotta go. Okay. I don't think it's any coincidence. It's the two shortest on both sides. Here we go. We're going head to head, guys. The category is yours. Pass or play on math. Play. What number comes next in this pattern? 44, 40, 36. 32. Call the winner. Call the detention. Mrs. Ebner, you're going to detention. Students, get over here and celebrate because Anna just did it for the squad. How about that? Woo! I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys. Was the tension fun? No. Yeah, no, they're saying no. Keep me out of there. Listen, when we come back, this score rages on. Who's going to win this thing? I don't know, but one of these guys is being put to the test in spelling. We'll see when we come back. Thanks for making it back on the show today. The students and teachers from Immaculate Heart of Mary School in the Upper Roxborough section of Philadelphia. That's a good-looking school right there, home of the Knights. Luke, you go there? Yes. 10 out of 10? <laughs> 10. I'll give it a 10. Yes? No? Yeah, 10. Okay, there it is. Okay. He's a big fan, he says. 500 is on the line today. Luke, where's it going? Uh, playground and gym act. Equ equipment. This is going well so far, this interview. I'm loving it. Eighth grader, dude. I All right. I've heard weird nicknames, but you're like, Richard, you got to hear mine. What is it? Oh, uh, Pappin. Pappin. Like P-A-P-P-I-N? Pappin? P-A-P-P-E-N. -P -P okay, cool. Spell check is next. Don't spell check me. <laughs> what? How did you get that? Uh, I don't know. You just walk around and be like, yo, what's Pappin? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Okay. What's the next lot, Pappin? All right, John, eighth grader, they call him the Louisville Slugger because he's a pitcher and he can throw really hard, right? Yeah. Best pitch? Uh, fastball. Does he? Oh, how fast? A million miles an hour. That's what I heard. Anna, seventh grader, uh, gymnast. What's your what's your like best? Floor. Floor. And what is it about floor that you love? Tumbling. Tumbling. Nice. If you, people don't know what tumbling, what is that? 
where you run and flip. Nice. How many flips can you do in a row? One. Okay, stop. <laughs> she's, she's learning. All right, guys, good luck. 500 on the line. Mrs. Mitchell. Here she goes. She likes to play coy, and then she nails the question. 500's on the line today. Who's it, who's it going to go to? It's going to go towards our school's uh, stream activities. Nice, which is all sorts of different classes for mm -hmm. those who aren't in the education system. English teacher, and uh, today I helped her accomplish a life goal. Yes. What is it? I've always wanted to be on a game show. Uh, my brain's filled with useless knowledge, so today I get to use it. I'll tell you what it doesn't contain, though. Anything about Hacienda. <laughs> Miss Abner, good to see a second grade teacher. Uh, your lineage runs deep at your school, I like really yes, deep. Yes, yes. Uh, my mom was a kindergarten teacher for many years, and my dad's a police officer who trained all the parents almost at the school. So, man, it's just like you guys have been there forever. Mm -hmm. They're like the Abners won't leave. <laughs> all right, Mr. Lowry, and hear about this, guys. Talk about leadership. This man's putting himself in the line here. He's the principal. How yes. cool is that? And I'll tell you what. He's a proud uh, son of a guy. I have the best students in art science. He's the best teachers. Uh, just a great school. That's so I'm awesome. Happy to be there. Well, I'm glad you guys are on the show today. I'll tell you what. This game continues, guys. Here we go. Let's play a little bit of spell check. Right, guys here's how this game works we have two minutes on the clock when I call your name step up to the microphone I'm gonna give you a word to spell and only 10 seconds to do it you get it correct you stay in the game but if you say a wrong letter at any point you are out of there if your team eliminates everyone from their side 30 points gets awarded to your score if time runs out we have some players left standing I'm gonna give 10 points for everyone to makes it through the round here we go students you're in the lead so we're gonna start with you Luke you ready to do this yes all right man first word is broad broad b-r-o-a-d okay Luke arch a-r-c-h okay Mrs. Mitchell poise p-o-i-s-e job John trend T-R-E-N-D. Good job, Miss Ebner. <laughs> Energy. E-N-G-E-R. Sorry, Annie, you're out of there. Forgot the E in there. Consult. C-O-N-S-U-L-T. Okay, Mr. Lowry. Niece. N-E-I-C-E. -E. I before E, except after C. Height. H-E-I-G-H-T. Listen, you can do this. Hold on tight, bud. <laughs> Burglar. B-U-R-G-U-L-A-R. John, you couldn't get it done. And how about this? Teachers, so weep of the round. That gets them up to 100 points. Students sitting at 80. It's anybody's game. It's back and forth. Who's going to win this thing? I don't know. But when we come back, it's picture day. Then it's the all-important final exam. The classroom's still in session when we come back. Today we have students and teachers from Immaculate Heart of Mary School in the Upper Roxboro section of Philadelphia. These guys have been rocking signs all day. What's your name? Abby Shy. Abby, and you made these signs? How long did it take you to, to make these puppies? A couple minutes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll tell you this. She poured her heart and soul into each one of these signs. And I, are, did you make any or she, it was all her? She just hands them out like <laughs> chicklets. All right. You're a teacher at the school, right? Yes, What's I your am. name? Mrs. Kim. Ma Lauren. And by the way, guys, be very careful. She's oh, got a, it She's got a foot. <laughs> she just gimps around, but you do it well. Uh, listen, you know all these guys, right? I do. Howard, who's your, who do you think your favorite student is up there? Um, I can't pick a favorite. They're all my favorites. You had them all in kindergarten? I did. I don't know if I had Luke, but I believe I had John and Anna. So literally you, you taught them everything they knew then? <laughs> Not everything, but. <laughs> <laughs> we're, still working on, right we're still working on the spelling, so That's we're going to do that. All right, listen. <laughs> guys, hop on board. This game continues right now. Let's play. <laughs> picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'll give you guys three clues one at a time. With each, each clue, we're going to remove three more of those boxes. The picture will come clearer and clearer. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture's got ten points coming to their team. If you get it wrong, your whole side's locked out. The other side's going to have a chance to buzz in and seal those points. We have three pictures today, guys. Good luck in picture day. Let's play. Here's your clue number one. This person loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 
Clue number two, and we're gonna take down three more boxes. This picture could pop out you. Good luck. This athlete is known for saying, yo soy fiesta. Loosely translates to I am party. Here we go, clue number three. He announced his retirement from football in March of 2019. Luke. Rob Gronkowski. Is that the Gronk? Yeah, okay. Luke, you feeling good about the Gronk? Yes. Does anyone ever say yo soy fiesta to you? Not at all. Just because you're always popping. He's popping. All right, guys, picture number two. Cover it up. We don't want to see it. Let's do it. This famous structure is a ruin. We sit, we move, we remove three more boxes, and I give you this clue. It started out as a temple dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena. Mrs. Mitchell. The Acropolis? Is that the Acropolis? Incorrect. Students, free guess here. They don't want it. So we're gonna move on, three more boxes. Last one, guys, it sits on the hill of the Acropolis overlooking Athens. Mr. Lowry. Is it the Parthenon? Is that the Parthenon? Yeah. That's the Parthenon. Okay, score 110 to 90. We have one more picture, guys. Students, crawl back here, let's see if you can do it. Cover it up, let's see it. This video game character is a villain. Time ticks down one second. Here we go. Three more boxes, please. And I have you for this clue. You may also know him as a king. Mrs. Mitchell. King Koopa? Is that King Koopa? That's King Cooper, Bowser, yeah. The king of the Koopas, Bowser. Nicely done. That gets you guys to 120. Students, you guys stay put with 90, but you are right where you need to be because, guys, time's up, and we're going to the final exam. It's anybody's game. All right, the topic today, I think Nelly said it best when he said, it's getting hot in here. That means all the questions have something to do with heat. All right, guys, three questions on the line. Each correct answer is worth 100 points for your team. Get it right, you're going to be on your way to winning the classroom. No writing quite yet, but I am going to give you these questions. Here's your final exam. Let's do it. Heat moves in three ways. What type of heat transfer is the most common and happens through direct physical contact, like holding an ice cube in your hand? Second one. Here we go, question number two. On the Nickelodeon show, The Thundermans, what is the name of Max and Phoebe's sister who has heat vision? Finally, last question, this is gonna do it. What is the term for a hot spring in which water intermittently boils underground until the pressure sends a tall column of water and steam into the air? There they are. Those are your questions that are gonna decide whether it's the students or teachers who come out on top right here in the classroom. We have 60 seconds on the clock, not a second longer. When we come back, someone's getting crowned king of the classroom right here. But first, guys, as per usual, your school needs to be here. I want you here. Your teachers want to be here. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Find a best friend that you can air high five with coming back from commercial break. Am I right, Luke? Yeah, okay. We're best friends. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Immaculate Heart of Mary School going head to head. What a game this has been. Teachers, storm in the lead 120. Students right on their heels with 90. And they're feeling it because today's final exam, they should. It's getting hot in here, just like this game's been all day. I asked three questions, each worth 100 points. Good luck, everybody. Let's play final exam here. Heat moves in three ways. What type of heat transfer is the most common and happens through direct physical contact like holding an ice cube in your hand? Students, you're behind. Let's do it, Anna. Melting. 
Melting incorrect. Incorrect. Hold on right there. Mr. Lowry, you said. Well, we said two of the three changes physically and chemically, and we couldn't think of the third. Sorry, incorrect, guys. <laughs> we were looking for the three ways, radiation, convection, and the answer, conduction. Conduction is direct physical contact. So we're looking for one, conduction. No points. We that. You guys can put them down. Here you go. On the Nickelodeon show, The Thundermans, what is the name of Max and Phoebe's sister who has heat vision? Students, back to you. Johnny Boy. Nora. Nora's right. There's 100 points for John. Teachers, you said. Sarah. And students have control of the game. It comes down to this. What is the term for a hot spring in which water intermittently boils underground until the pressure sends a tall calm water and steam into the air? Teachers, you said. Geyser. Geyser, going to get you there. 220. And Luke, the game comes down to you. Get it right, $500. Get it wrong, and the teachers take home the cash and bragging rights. Are you smarter than your teachers? You said. Geyser. Great job. We'll see you next time in the classroom.